In this video tutorial, we will teach you how to create and display testimonials on your website using the testimonial slider. First, let's log into our WordPress dashboard and find the testimonials menu item from the main admin menu. Here we have already created two example testimonials. Let's create a third one. To begin, click on the Add New button. Starting from the top, we see the title field. It will not be displayed on your page. You can name it as you please. Below it, we can see the editor area. Here you can insert and format text. That will be your testimonial. Below, we can see the testimonial options. Here you can insert the author's name, company, and a link to his company page. Those fields are optional and, if left blank, will not display in the slider. Moving on to the right side, we have Categories. When adding the testimonial slider item inside the Muffin Builder, you can choose which category to display or not select anything to show all of them. The last field is the Featured Image. It is used to display the photo of the testimonial author. We suggest using an 85 by 85 pixels image for this. Okay, since we're all done, let's click Publish to save our work. Great, we now have three testimonials ready. To show them on any page, we need to use the Muffin Builder Testimonials item. We've already prepared a section on the home page where we want the testimonials to display. Let's edit this page. Once we're in the Muffin Builder, we can click Add Item. Now since there are a lot of them, we'll use the search option. Typing in Testimonials shows us two items. The first one is the Testimonials item. This is the slider which we are interested in. The second one, named Testimonials List, will show all of the testimonials at once in a list. Now since we're interested in the slider, we'll choose the Testimonials item. Let's edit it and browse through its options. The first one is the category. Since we did not add any, the slider will show all of the testimonials. You can also order by date, menu order, and title, and set the order to be descending or ascending. The testimonial slider item offers two styles. The default style shows all of the thumbnail images at once and keeps them as square images. The single photo style will show one photo at a time and will make it round. It's best if we show both of those styles in action so you can see and understand the difference. If you decide not to show the photos, you can select to hide them using the Next option. For advanced users, further customization is easier with the Custom Class field. It can hold multiple classes separated with a space. OK, since we're all done, let's update the page and see how this looks. Great! We can see our just-created testimonials with the text, author, and company name. We've chosen the default style so it shows all of the photos at once. You can use the arrows or click the images to change the testimonials. OK, now let's try to use the second style, named Single Photo. We'll return to the page editor and edit the testimonials item. OK, now let's change the style and update the page to see how it looks. Excellent! The slider shows only one photo at once and now it is round instead of square. You can also enable Auto Slide so the testimonials change automatically. To do that, go to Theme Options, then click on Global and Sliders. Here you see a list of all slider items that B-Theme offers. The zero value means that the slider will not auto slide. We'll type in 3000 in the testimonial slider field, which means that the slide duration will be 3 seconds, since the value is represented in milliseconds. Remember always to save changes. If we go to the home page, we can see that the slides change automatically. There's also a pause on hover option enabled by default. If you hover on the offer slider, the auto slide will not work until you move your cursor away from the item. Thanks for watching this video and remember that if you have any questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.